Okay guys, I am leaving the Hannaford and I just found out that I could have returned this big thing of watermelon that I bought, which was pre-cut. It's better to buy it, uh, it whole and uncut and cut it yourself. It's so much cheaper and it's fun to cut it because it cuts so easily, slices so <clears throat> easily because it's watermelon. It's made of water anyway. And the crust is actually really easy to cut into satisfying to cut a watermelon up actually um but anyway so i buy this huge thing of it it's completely rotten she told me and i should have brought it back and i said and i knew if i did they'd give me my money back and she said they would give me double my money back double so i could have gotten double my money it was probably a, it was probably 12 dollars because this thing was expensive so um yeah i could have taken it back oh it's so nice out pumpkins oh my god it's already fall stop it oh my god the air feels so good guys it feels so good look there's oh my god there's two electric things up there oh my goodness look at that so i saw this very bad review on electric cars oh it feels so nice out here guys it's absolutely heaven it's so, it's so, um, mm, the air is so soft and warm and nice. Um, anyway, so, yeah, I could have gotten it back. I, I'd go live, but I think the tech won't work. There's actually really good Wi-Fi in this, in Hannaford now. Because it used to be when you went into Hannaford, you'd lose all your Wi-Fi. Now they have this thing where you, you just agree to their terms or whatever, which is probably to steal all your information. And then you have really good Wi-Fi. It's amazing. I was shocked. Because normally, I, I don't mind listening to the radio at Hannaford. It's almost like a little party because they usually have really good music and there's lots of room. This Hannaford is very quiet. This is the quietest, even though it is night. It's very warm. It's almost like Florida. You know how Florida is really warm and nice and the air is really soft and comforting and cozy especially at night and you're just like wow it's so nice and soft and warm here feel safe you know it's this lovely soft air so this is Maine so Maine has a coolness to it and you can see this touch of the trees turning it's just a touch oh god there's something so sad and depressing about fall and the end of summer maybe that's why I feel sad I have this huge cry in me I mean, I saw all three of my children together and my grandson and um, at their, you know, her, this big party. It was really nice and it was a great party. It was a lot of fun. Um, I think that cake did me in because I kept eating it and I shouldn't have eaten that stupid cake because it was so bad for you. I didn't eat a lot of it the day of, of the party, but the next day I had this piece and I kept eating it, <laughs> the whole piece. It wasn't a big piece, but still it was something I'm not supposed to eat. I'm not supposed to eat stuff like that. I have arthritis. I can't. I can't eat stuff like that. And I know that. And I was. I was. If, if however, if the if the cake had been made with fresh, real ingredients, real cocoa powder, real eggs, fresh eggs, real cream butter, you know, um, and no, and not all this fake food coloring crap. It was a big, nice, delicious chocolate cake, or you know, a seven layer cake, or whatever. I I would have gotten some big. Or I would have gotten two cakes. It was way too much cake, and I think the frosting was um, just, it wouldn't dissolve. It was just gross, and I think that they used a really cheap thing for birthday, and I think it was um, unfortunate because the other food of, at this party was fant unbelievably fantastic. It was this delicious, she went to this uh, this incredible Italian place that everything, there were the meatballs, this pasta dish, the, the, um, the chicken and mushrooms, the chicken marsala, I guess. Every single dish was absolutely mouthwatering, so it was an incredible bit. And the cake was good, but I think that it... So you've got to be careful. I, when you have things like auto... When you have autoimmune diseases like I have, and I have two or three overlapping, I've got the rheumatoid arthritis, I've got fibromyalgia, and I've got... Um, Epstein Barr, kind of like lupus. I've got all those symptoms. Same thing with Lyme. These autoimmune diseases, a lot of us have them, and you can manage them very well. And eating a really super healthy, non chemical, non processed food 
diet, a very healthy, organic, earth-based diet, and a simple diet with a lot of um, olive oil and avocado oil and coconut oil um, and fresh, no chemicals. That's what turns it around. And, and, and even if it doesn't get rid of it completely forever, it manages it really, really well. So I went off my good diet and I had this cake, this frosting, and it was totally bad for me and I'm paying the price. This is what happens. And I have a big cry in me and I have to cry. As I'm in pain again. It's partly that. I was feeling so good. Pain sucks. If It just sucks. I've toughed it out for many years and I don't want to go back to it. So I have got to, you know, never let myself do things like that. So anyways, Richard, thank you so much. I love you so much. Appreciate you so much. You have really helped me and I can never thank you enough. And I'm sending out the book, the books tomorrow. God, it's been, you know, tough, but... And I'm also probably going to be doing a live about everything tomorrow. Hopefully. Anyways, all right. I also have to plant the trees tomorrow. So I don't know what. But anyway, I have to pay the bill. I've got more liens and fees. It's just not fair to add all these fees on, on me. It's just not fair. It's very wrong um, the way the town is treating me, the town manager. Um, you know, even though he seems like a nice guy. Um, for some reason, there's been something going on that doesn't feel good. And I should not be charged, nor should anybody be charged for something that isn't there. Thank you guys. Love you so much. I'll be back because 